Hi, my friends. Welcome and welcome back. Come on in, get comfy, and let's talk today about creativity. Speaking of creativity, <laughs> check out this coffee mug. For those of you who can't see this right now, I've got a coffee mug that my love made me. It's got me and Jack, Jackie Bomb Bomb, on it, and it just makes my heart so happy. So creativity, you guys. Creativity is often thought of in a very specific way and we tend to think of creativity as being only reserved for the few you know quote unquote artists who are creating a specific type of thing but creativity is so much more multi-dimensional than that creativity encompasses so many different things and I'd love to give a shout out to my friend Sam who recommended The Creative Act by Rick Rubin. Um, I just started listening to the audiobook today and it's so inspiring. And like, I know that I'm going to have this on repeat because Rick has so many gems in this book already. I'm only 30 minutes in and it is fantastic. But he explains how creativity isn't reserved for the few. Creativity is accessible to all of us. Your creativity doesn't have to be reserved for one specific act. Creativity is a way of life. Now, I'd love to share this quote with you that kind of brings this into perspective. So he says, think of the universe as an eternal creative unfolding. Trees blossom, cells replicate, rivers forge new tributaries, the world pulses with productive energy, and everything that exists on this planet is driven by that energy. Every manifestation of this unfolding is doing its own work on behalf of the universe, each in its own way, true to its own creative impulse. So whether we are drawing or painting or cooking or writing or creating some beautiful decoration for our home or just being in a reflective state, creativity is an act of being present and of being aware and of opening our awareness, our consciousness to the unendingly abundant amount of energy in this universe that is available to us. Creativity is the act of taking these ideas from the universe and making them manifest in this world. You're taking energy that is not yet manifest and manifesting it. Creativity is really creating something in this world that wasn't here before. So if you're a parent creating a child that wasn't here before, creating a book, creating a sketch, creating a garden, a beautiful garden that wasn't there before. You know, look at landscaping. You're creating these bits of artwork on the land that weren't here before. So I hear from so many people that they don't think that they're creative. And I want to challenge that today because each one of you has your own brand of creativity. Maybe it's crocheting, maybe it's knitting, maybe it's stacking rocks by a river, maybe it's just the way that you perceive and think about things. Maybe you're here to offer different perspectives. Maybe you're here to share hope and light. Maybe you're here to challenge the status quo. Whatever it is, being alive is being innately creative 
every single day we are taking thoughts and transmuting that energy into this world, into something manifested. Whether we're conscious of that process or not, we are constantly creating. And there's no one way for an artist to look. There's no one way for an artist to create. There's no one way for an artist to think. Some of the greatest art really challenges our ideas of what art is. Some of the greatest art is a commentary on the state of the world and the state of the collective consciousness. So there's one other quote that I'd love to share from this book. And it goes, art is choosing to do something skillfully, caring about the details, bringing all of yourself to make the finest work you can. It is beyond ego, vanity, self-glorification, and need for approval. It's just bringing all of you into whatever you are doing and doing the best job that you possibly can. Whatever that is. You being alive, being here on earth, is being an artist, is being a creator. You are bringing thoughts and energy out of the ethers through you into this world. How amazing is that? How creative is that? And just because other people have done something similar to what you want to create doesn't mean that there's nothing left for you to create. You creating that thing and putting your own heart into it, your own energy into it, your own energetic signature on it is what makes it unique. You speaking on this topic in your own way, in your own voice, with your own tone, with your own vibration makes it unique. You writing that book or that article in your own voice, with your own words, with your own fingers, your own pen, your own paper, putting your unique voice and signature on it makes it unique. You don't have to have accolades. You don't have to have pieces in a gallery to be an artist. Being alive is being an artist. Being here on this earth, living your life, manifesting things into your world is being a creator. You're being so creative. And being creative, creating in your own life, is using your divine birthright to this creative energy, this unendingly abundant creative energy that is in this universe and here for all of us. Your creation could be igniting love and hope in other people's hearts through your day-to-day -day interactions. That's using that creative energy and manifesting it into your world. It doesn't have to be fancy. It doesn't have to be a painting. You living your life with intention is using the universe's creative potential to paint throughout your life. Picture it like you're walking down a street and your energy is painting the buildings, the sides of the buildings as you walk by. It's painting the street. It's painting the fire hydrants. It's painting the people. It's painting everything around you all of the time. You're that connected to everything in this world. We are all interconnected in very intricate and complex ways. And we're all feeding off of each other and we're all inspiring each other. And we're all contributing to this collective consciousness. We're all contributing 
to the world that we're experiencing. So what do you want to create? What do you want to create? Maybe everything that you're creating is vibratory. Maybe you're creating with your own energy, with your own vibration in this world. Think about it. And please don't let doubt sneak in and tell you that what you're creating isn't art enough, isn't good enough. These are all lies. Every single piece of art, every single creation is a work in progress. Even something that is finished, quote unquote, finished, and presented to the world is still a work in progress because that piece is still influencing the world. It's still doing its work in the world, whatever you are creating. I'll see this sometimes even on what I'm posting to social media. All of a sudden, sometimes I start getting traction on a post that I put up six years ago. That one thing that I created is still creating in this world. And this is really the abundant nature of this universe. Think about a plant. You plant one seed, it grows one plant, and that one plant can produce hundreds of other seeds. All of life on this planet is constantly multiplying itself and creating from itself again. It's the same for us and everything that we do in this world. We plant the seeds and they multiply and they grow. Sometimes we have no idea how they might grow. That's the beauty of it. So everything that you create is a constant work in pro progress. It's always still working. So if we can let go of perfectionism, if we can let go of that doubt and just immerse ourselves in the creative act of being alive, we'll start to tap into new energies, new thoughts, new ideas, new inspirations. There are so many ideas in the ethers right now waiting for a maker, waiting for someone to be open, to receive it, and bring it into fruition. So will you be open? Will you be open to the ideas, the inspirations? Will you be open to the process? Will you be open to the journey of creation that is your life? Will you allow it to be what it is? Allow it to show you what it wants to be without needing to label it, without needing to perfect it, without needing to scrutinize it? What if you allowed yourself to be so present in each moment as much as possible to witness and be a part of the creative process that is your life? How would that be? How would that look? How would that feel? <sighs> Did these words ignite something in you? Did you feel something? Did you feel a rush? Did you feel some chills? Allow yourself to feel that. Be present with the feeling. of creation pulsing inside of you.
you are a huge part of the ever unfolding of this universe. You are innately an artist of your own unique accord. Allow that to be. All right, my friends, I'm going to leave it there today. Let me know how this resonated for you in the comments. If someone came to mind while you were listening to this, please share this message with them. Thank you so much for liking and sharing and subscribing. It means more than I can ever tell you. Thank you for being a part of this creative process with me. Sending you all tons of love, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.